Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 53 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about implementing default paging in a grid view control that does not use any data source controls. We'll be using table TBL employee for this demo. So to retrieve data from this table, let's go ahead and implement employee data access layer. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's add a class file to our project and let's call it employee data access layer.cs. Now, to encapsulate the employee information that's present in this table, let's design employee class. To speed things up, I have this class already implemented. So let's copy this and paste that into our employee data access layer class file. Now, this is a very straightforward class with four auto implemented properties employee ID, name, gender, and city. Now, Within our employee data access layer class, we need a method which can retrieve data from this table. So obviously we need to write ADO.NET code. So first let's go ahead and import the required namespaces, ADO.NET namespaces, system.data, system.data.sql client, and system.configuration. Now let's copy and paste the method itself. So if you look at this method, this is a very straightforward method. Look at the name of the method, get all employees, which is returning list of employee objects. We are first creating an instance, uh, a variable of type list employee. And using the configuration manager class, we are reading the connection string from web.config file. Using that connection string, we are building our SQL connection object. Look at the SQL command, select star from TBL employee. We are executing that SQL command and looping through each row and converting that row into an employee object. This employee object is then added to the list and finally we return that list back. So now let's flip to webform1.aspx. Let's drag and drop a grid view control onto this webform and let's auto format this grid view control. Let's choose brown sugar scheme. Now by default the paging is not enabled so let's go ahead and enable paging. So get to the properties of the grid view control and then we have this property allow paging which is false by default let's set that to true so that should enable paging and look at the page size by default we get it uh, you know the page size as 10 let's go ahead and set the page size to 3 alright so within the code behind file in the page load event look at this if not is post back meaning if it is the initial get request of the web form then we are invoking get all employees method of our employee data access layer class this method returns list of employee objects back which is going to act as the data source for our grid view control and then invoking the data bind method okay so at this point let's go ahead and run this as you might expect the grid view control should display employee data with the three rows on each page so on the first page I have three records now let me click on page number two and look at look at what's happening you know we get a runtime error grid view grid view one fired event page index changing which wasn't handled so obviously when I click on that page number you know grid view control raises this event page index changing event and we need to handle that event so obviously first let's generate the event handler method for the grid view control so get to the properties of the grid view control by pressing F4 click on the events icon then the event name is page index changing so double click on that to generate the event handler method and here you know what we need to do when the page index is, has changed you know when it is about to change we need to set you know the grid view one page index to the new page index which is going to be the you know the second page so how do I know what is the new page index going to be I use this object grid view page event arguments object so the page index of the grid view control should be equal to e dot new page index look at this this new page index what is the return type it's an integer and page index is also an integer so we are setting the page index property of this grid view one control to the new page index and that's it all that is left out is you know retrieve invoke the get employees method of the employee data access layer you know set that as the data source and invoke the data bind that's it we are done so the default paging for the grid view control is now enabled okay so we are on page one I click on page two look at that I get the second set of three records 
and on page 3 we will only have two records because there are a total of only eight records within the database table. In our next video, we'll discuss about implementing custom paging with ASP.NET Grid View Control. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.